Ho! This is HC Santa, making my first delivery tonight. And welcome to another Let's Play series for me on the Sony PlayStation, though I will be playing this on my PS3 here. It's available on the PSN if you're interested in playing it that way as well. This game has a very different tone to it than my last LP, and, well, okay, all my other LPs, pretty much. Uh, it's my first mature-rated game to LP, uh, not including the one video of Nier, but I mean, this will be my first full Let's Play series of a mature-rated game. Uh, so just a fair warning, viewers, for those who are overly sensitive to these sort of things. Uh, there is quite a bit of animated violence in the game, as you may have noticed if you watched the trailer there. Uh, there's also some, well, according to the box, mature se sexual themes. But, uh, well, I don't think it's that excessive. But uh, just letting you know ahead of time, if it's if that sort of thing's not your cup of tea, well, there you are. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't bother me personally. And, well, you know I'm squeamish, viewers, so, I mean, if I can handle this game, well, I think you can handle it. But yeah, I think of this game as an uh, action RPG, although uh, some people like to think of it as survival horror, but, uh, well, I don't. It doesn't seem that scary to me, but then again, this was a long time ago, so you can only do so much with the hardware we had back then. But yeah, I mean, in this game, for the, it's basically like a JRPG. Uh, you can move around during combat, but you still have your menu-based commands, and plenty of time to think about what you want to do during combat and everything. You get, you know, your equipment, your levels, dungeons, all the stuff that makes up a JRPG, although the atmosphere is certainly very different from the usual tropes. And as such, my usual style of commentary will probably clash with the mood of the game and completely ruin the cutscenes, as usual. But, well, I'm sticking to what's fun for me. That's why I do it. But yeah, this game actually takes place in, well, New York City, a real place, so... Yeah, I'm usually not a huge fan of games that take place in modern-day settings, uh, let alone uh, take place, like, in a real city, but, well, it works for me in this game. I don't know if I'd want every game to be like this, but if you like that sort of thing, then come and let's play Parasite Eve! It's originally released in 1998, but this was pretty high-tech stuff back then, viewers. So, alright, let's get started here. Let's see, let me double-check my controls here. Nope, want to go to digital mode. I like the digital mode better than analog for that oh yeah we also got x game mode here that's like new game plus but uh well we'll get to that eventually but for now let's just start up a new game here game oh right load times kind of a new thing for me back in 1998 wasn't quite used to that sort of thing yeah, it took me a while to get into the JRPGs of that era, because they were starting to get more modern like that, like with guns and all that sort of thing. I wonder how they ma made all the stuff in this game. I mean, like, w with the setting of the New York and city and all that stuff. Yeah, I don't know how accurate this game is. I mean, I know they got, like, the names of places that are actually in New York, but... Hmm, 97. Hmm, that was the same year the world came to an end in Crystallis. But, well, I guess this game was... Pro I guess it was released in Japan in 97? I don't know. I know it was here in 98, so... So, we arrive here at Carnegie Hall. I don't know if they actually say it in the dialogue, but I know that's the name of the area, the, the area so. I think in real life they can hold, what, like 3,000 people there? Maybe a little less than that? It's a lot of people in there. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. I like operas and JRPGs. 
Looks like the game uses the same engine as Final Fantasy VIII and Chrono Cross. And we're in control of a police officer. Someone remotely qualified to save the world. You're doing it wrong, game. We're supposed to control someone who has no business trying to save the world, yet succeeds in spite of their complete and utter ineptitude. <laughs> BS button. Okay. But yeah, yeah, we are in control of Aya, Aya, Brea, Bria, Bray, I don't know. I'll probably change my pronunciation depending on what mood I'm in. Today I'm pronouncing it Aya. Well, why would you come here if it wasn't fun for you? Translation. Aren't you glad you decided to give me the opportunity to try and get in your pants? Oh, I was going to say, how does a police officer have the salary to get to a place like this? I would imagine Carnegie Hall is probably not the cheapest place in the world to get into. Not that I would know. I've never been to an opera, but okay. Well, let's go around, walk around and talk to people. We can't go to the left or right or down or anything, but... Uh... Hey, how's it going? Oh, well, thank you. I'm sure it'll be great. Just bring the house down. Nice of them to roll out the red carpet for us and limo. Hmm? Oh, they've already started the music. Oh, okay. That was fast. Oh, sorry, I'm going through the dialogue a little quickly here. You're not going to come with me? Okay. You don't have to have to actually press the X button in order to open doors. You just walk up to them. In fact, if you press the X button, you'll slow down or stop or whatever as though you're examining something. So don't do that. Unfortunately, that can sometimes run into the problem where... Kind of like Final Fantasy IV in the sealed cave there where you go up to one of those ropes and you don't want to go down it, but because you're right next to it, you automatically climb down it anyway. So, yeah, same thing can kind of happen here. So I'll try to point out such in instances to you. Oh, nice cane there, buddy. What's the worst that could... Oh. Well, doesn't that happen to all men who get married? No. No, just kidding. How evil could she possibly be? That's rather grim. Or wait a minute. No. That escalated quickly. I wonder how they died anyway. Eh, probably not. Important. Please, take my life with hers. Otherwise, I'll probably spend the next 20 years trying to get over her death with a secretary who's Obviously in love with me and... Uh, oh, wait. No. No, wait. That, that's another game. Seems like they're using the same vocal synth that they did in Final Fantasy VI. Or, well, probably a little better than that, obviously. It's a PlayStation game, but... You know what I mean, viewers. Yeah, they don't actually have, like, voiced dialogue in this game. But we do get some pretty good cutscenes for the day. Yeah, I told this opera was I was told this opera was gonna be in 3D. It doesn't really look any different to me. Hmm? Kinda reminds me of the fifth element when that uh, diva looked at Bruce Willis. Whoa! Look at that guy on fire! It's in 3D! Whoa! It's amazing! It feels like I'm really on fire! It's like a Gallagher stand-up routine, except more death. Whoa, hey, wait a second. Whoa, hey! Oh. No, I guess that we're really on fire. That's... How'd you pull that one off, anyway? Doesn't anyone have a cell phone to call for help? He might be okay. Oh, well. No, probably not now. Oh, right. They uh, they told everyone to turn off their cell phones in this place. Great job, guys. No wonder no one can call for help. Okay, that was definitely 2D.
I want my money back. So, yeah, I guess she just killed, what, 3,000 people in the place or something? I don't know how she pulled that off, but, well, there we go. Now, before going up there, let's go into the menu here. Press the triangle button, you get in there. Let's see, being a police officer, we have a gun. And we can hold six bullets in there. We also have a uh, double fire, so we can fire two bullets in a round of combat there. And I'll go over what all those numbers there mean later when it becomes more important. If you run out of bullets, we got a club here. So we can use that as a me melee weapon. But as you can see, the range isn't nearly as good as a gun, obviously. So we want to keep that in mind. Uh, let's see. Also, we have an ammo crate with some more bullets. So if we run out, we can reload. But get if you do that during battle, you'll... It'll take a moment for you to do that, and you'll be frozen in combat, so you won't be able to move around, which means you're susceptible to being hit. So, and again, I'll go over that when it becomes pertinent, but I just thought I'd point that out to you. So, let's go up to her and shoot her. Let's get really close to her, so that way she can more easily set us on fire. Oh, right, I gotta keep walking up to her. I thought it automatically started once I got up on the stage. Are you, like, floating there or something? Good. Well, that's because I'm the JRPG protagonist. I'm not a red shirt. You're the red shirt. Hmm? What do you mean by that? What are they calling all out for? Boss time against the actress. Okay, so first things first, we want to move around here, left and right. She fires a laser at you, and then she gets open for combat. Press the X button, the action freezes, so you can figure out where to shoot. Uh, you see all those, well, whatever that is there, the triangles there. That shows how much range you've got. She's in range, so that means we can hit her. If she's outside of that little bubble there, we're probably going to have a hard time hitting her. We'll just miss. So you... Select who you want to target, press the X button for the number of bullets, press it twice. Well, normally we'd shoot twice, but, well, it's a scripted part of the battle here. Oh yeah, in the upper left, you can see the AT bar that determines when you're going to get your turn. Got your HP, just like every other JRPG, and PE, which is your MP, essentially. Hmm? What do you mean by that? But anyway, yeah, just keep on running around so that way she can't hit you. Okay, now once you get your turn, you can go into the menu and, well, now we can use Heal 1, which is our first magic spell of the game, essentially. So you can use that. uses up some PE. You can see how much it uses by the upper bar in the lower right corner there. So there you go, but I don't need to use that. So let's just shoot her a couple times. Shoot her. Move around. So basically, that's really going to be a lot of the strategy for this game. Knowing how the enemy attacks, wait for them to attack, they get stunned for a little while, and then you can counter with more bullets. So, pretty simple there. And don't worry about your ammo, and for the most part in this game, you'll pretty much never run out. Now, you see, I only got one bullet left in my gun, so what's going to happen is I'm going to shoot her once, I'll reload my gun, and I'll be frozen for a little bit, and then I'll shoot her again with my gun reloaded. Hopefully she won't get that attacking on me. Or I could just kill her. That works too. I guess I got lucky with crit there. Hmm? What do you mean by that? Eve? Well, it is Christmas Eve. W what do you mean? No. No. Just kidding, viewers. Just kidding. What is... No. Oh. Kind of reminds me of another game. Weird flashbacks and everything. Probably just genetic memory.
Well, you could keep on shooting her instead of letting her get away. But anyway, you go to the left here behind the curtain. Kind of hard to tell where it's behind the curtain and where it's not. You go over here. Whoa, what a hole. But anyway, yeah, it kind of blends into the ground there a little bit, but you get a treasure. All right. So yeah, basic your basic healing potion restores some well, HP, obviously. Hmm. Hey, hey, all right. Now, we could go down there, but let's not do that just yet. Let's uh go outside first. Yeah, I was thinking of something with... Oh, wait, yeah. With this part, you go down, then to the right. So that way you can go in front of the curtain to get out of here. Yeah, that tripped me up the first time I played the game. But yeah, I was thinking of something with Eve. And we're... Yeah, she's got those green eyes, supreme magical powers, burns everything to the ground. Where have I seen something like this before? <laughs> eh, must be my imagination. But anyway, whoa, look at all these burnt corpses, We're dealing with one sick son of a bitch here. Hey, how's it going? I survived. Oh, where do you get your badge? Oh, right, booby trap. Most dangerous place of all. Let's see, how's my HP? Oh, well, I'm still at full HP, but if you weren't and you talked to this guy with the paramedics, since I didn't get spontaneously combusted, he can restore our HP. I think. Anyway, how's it going? Well, I'm a cop. I'm actually remotely competent. Yeah, most likely. How's it going? Hey, hey, all right. Sounds like a plan. But anyway, you talk to him, you get some ammo. Talk to him again, you can get some more ammo. Just load me up, man. Yeah, you talk to him a total of 10 times. Oh, and he can't give you any more ammo. So that's all you got. So yeah, that's a real quick and easy way to load up on some ammo really early. Although, like I said, it's not really a big deal. This game just throws ammo at you. Both literally and figuratively. So anyway, now we gotta go back after Eve there. Oh, you know, I should probably reload my gun. Let's see, I've got five bullets in there. So you, sl oh wait, no, hold on. Go to the item menu, select the weapon, reload, and you can take ammo out of your crate, put it into your gun between battles. And that's a pretty good idea, especially early in the game when you only have uh, a limited uh, ammo or uh, capacity in your gun there. What's the stat for that? Bullet capacity, I guess. Okay, so there you are. Uh, also, you might notice that we only have uh, 10 slots here. You can see in the lower right of the menu there, 6 out of 10. So yeah, we've got 6 slots here. we got 4 empty ones. But our inventory will increase as we level up throughout the game. I guess we get stronger, we have more strength to carry more things or something. So, well, there you are. But yeah, if we ever get to the point where I am full on capacity, I'd recommend just throwing away potions or something to make more room. Uh, again, the game just throws stuff at you. This game is, in my opinion, pretty easy. It's not as easy as my last LP. I mean, it is a reasonable challenge, but it is still pretty easy. So, I mean, yeah, you don't need to worry about running out of ammo or HP. And I think that's kind of a stupid thing to do in games anyway, to make ammo, uh, what's ammo management, uh, a gameplay mechanic. I mean, it's just, I mean, it basically puts things either in the too good to use club or I have so much of it that I'm not going to use any strategy with it anyway. I mean, there's, at least from my experience, there's usually not much in between. So, fortunately, this game doesn't do that. So, okay, well, let's follow after the weird little girl. We're in the basement of Carnegie Hall now, I guess. Let's see what we got around here. 
Nice. Now, in the room to the left there, I'll just tell you a little bit of, not a story spoiler, but there's a gun in a cabinet there that is pretty difficult to get. I mean, I, I, I can get it, and I've gotten it every time i played the game, but for some reason, I don't know, you gotta get, like, on the right pixel or something to get the weapon in there. It's really hard for me to get it. And get it. If you know an easier way of doing it, let me know, viewers, but I do not, so it might take me a minute or two to get it. Oh, they got rats in the city too, huh? Well, what's going on? Looks like those cells are getting bigger. Rodents of unusual size? I don't believe they exist. Whoa! A little gruesome there. Okay, I believe you now. Okay, so our first random, well, not really a random battle, but it's not a boss fight. So, now the thing you gotta watch out with this guy is he has, he also has projectiles. So, let's go over here. Get away from him. Okay, I didn't do such a good job there. I was trying to get between the two, or the three flames there, but I didn't do a good job of that. So, now let's shoot him a couple times. Okay. Stay, you want to try and keep your distance. Use your range to your advantage. Okay, got around the bullets, or the, well, yeah, fire bullets that way. Shoot him a couple more times. Voila, he's dead. Hooray! And the rat had bullets! Wow. Man, I thought the rats in New Jersey were hardcore, but this is New York. Holy cow. Well, let's see if we can find Eve around here somewhere, I guess. But yeah, a lot of these doors are locked right now, so we're going to have to find a way to get into those other rooms. Well, you don't have to, but it's a good idea. They got some good stuff in there. Just like all good JRPGs, we have clowns. I mean, uh, treasure everywhere to find and loot. I know I don't look like it, but yeah, I'm with the police. Not anymore. What, you didn't know the place was on fire? How do you not know that sort of thing? Well, goodbye. Rats. I mean, uh, nuts. But anyway, let's go check out the lockers here. So you check this one. Haha! -ha. Man, that guy had ammo in his locker, too. Wow. There's ammo everywhere in this game. Now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. Why are there bullets everywhere? Even the rats have bullets. Answer, New York. Even the rats have bullets here. Now, the better question is, why aren't those clips already empty? That, I do not know. I've never been to New York, nor have I ever touched a firearm. Yeah, I know that's a real shock to you, viewers. But anyway, yeah, you open that third locker there, you get a med another medicine there, you open the fifth locker, for some reason it resuscitates this guy. I guess he doesn't want us taking his stuff. No, there's nothing in there, but, uh... Oh, well, yeah, I kind of knew that. Oh. Well... Do the best I can. Do you see her coming by around here? Hang in there, even though your skin is all burnt off, pretty much. Nuts. Well, he's dead. Okay, well, anyway. The place we're supposed to go is up here. But if you try doing that right now, we can't. So we gotta find another place to go. This is the only other locked room that we can get into. Man, she just kill everyone down here too? Whoa! What happened? Dude? Well, he's already dead, so might as well search him for loose change. Or key. So, alright! Well, now we got the key, we can open some of the doors. Not that last door there yet, I don't think. 
But anyway, uh, no, I did not mean to leave the room. The guy just kind of collapsed and pushed me out of the room there. Okay, well, I've shown you the basics of combat in the game, but uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to address it, or try at least do it when it becomes relevant there. Oh yeah, there's a chest behind you. You, you can, well, can kind of see it, but yeah, it's up there. So, yeah, get another medicine there. Awesome. And a parrot. Doesn't really do anything, but it's there. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we're starting to get low on inventory space, but if I need to, I'll use a medicine to clear some space. If not, if you need to get rid of some stuff, just discard it. Yeah, I mean, we're just, we just got so much medicine, not to mention the heal one PE. So, yeah, I'm not extraordinarily worried about it. But, yeah, when you uh, find a red flashing light there, usually means that's a telephone. I almost said payphone, but... No, that wouldn't be right. But, yeah, the telephones in this game, well, those are your save points there. So, let's save here and continue on another day. What happened to Melissa anyway here? Find out next time on Let's Play Parasite Eve. This is H.C. Santa, signing off. And have a Merry Christmas tomorrow, viewers. Ho, ho, ho.